I share event marketing tips and advice five days a week, every single week. Using my experience and knowledge of running over 100 events in over 12 cities, I use this to post really easy, actionable tips and tricks you can implement into your event promotion today in order to make sure you get the right bums in your seats. So let's get straight into it. Today I'm going to talk about Facebook co-hosting. It's a really easy little trick you can do. I don't know why, but hardly any events do it for some reason. I don't notice hardly any events that actually do this. So you can really be ahead of the curve. And I, honestly, it takes like two seconds to do and it's so effective. This is what it is. So number one, what who are you going to do it with? You're going to co-host with people who are involved in the event, preferably ones that have big Facebook following. So like the, the speakers at the event, uh, the venue, um, even someone with high net worth in coming to the event, if they have a big following and they have some involvement in the event, co-host with them. So once you do this, this is why, once you do this, what it does is it automatically promotes your event on their Facebook page. So you get a null post, so if any of their followers are online, they're gonna see that post of that event, they're gonna see that they're backing it, and if they're not online at the time, it's going to stay on their Facebook page because it stays on their event tab. So whether they're on the line or not, they're going to be able to come across it. And even when the event's over, people can use it as a fact check that the speaker did go to your event or use that venue. And also people might just naturally come across it and be like, what's that? So there's so many easy opportunities that can come from this. So let me flip the phone and show you how to do this. Okay, this is my Facebook event page that I use. It's just my test. What you do is you edit. Scroll down, you see where it says co-host. You then put in, let's say I'm doing it, with, I want to do it with Gary V. There's Gary V. And remember, they have to accept, so I doubt Gary V is going to accept to my test event page. Then you press save. And then that's it. You save and it's all done. And then providing they accept, then it's all done. So you can give them a call, make sure they accept. So there's pending, as you see. But that's where it is. That's how you do it. And that's as simple as it is. So any questions down below. Until then, speak tomorrow. Bye-bye.